Last week, we talked about discipline from our Heavenly Father, that it'd be much better for us to take the easy road, right? The road that is not going to cause him to spank us because spankings are not fun for anybody. It's not fun when you're two, it's not fun when you're four, and it ain't fun when you're 41. All right, but we have to understand our Heavenly Father is slow to anger. We have to understand that he's patient with us, right? So when we mess up, it's not like he's ready to yank out the belt and start beating on us. That's not our Father. Our Father nudges us with a holy conviction, right? He's trying to get us to humble ourselves and see the error of our way so that we'll repent, we'll confess and say, God, I'm sorry, I messed up. And then he's like, all right, my grace is sufficient. Come on over here. Let's dust you off. Let's get you back on track. He's a loving daddy. He's not a punitive daddy. But remember, his patience does run out. And the Bible says the next thing he'll do is he'll begin to retract his presence. You'll start to feel a little bit distant from him. He wants you to feel, right, daddy's disappointment. All right, my kids will tell you they don't want a spanking. They'd rather, well, they'd rather get a spanking than hear daddy say, I'm disappointed in you. I mean, they don't want either, but they'd rather a spanking than for me to look at them and say, man, I'm really disappointed in you. You hurt my heart. And that's what the father does. He wants you to feel a little bit of distance, a little bit of disappointment. He's trying to convict you and bring you back. He's waiting for you to repent and return. That's what he does. But then there comes a time when you're still not listening And guess what? He brings out the belt and he spanks. And the Bible is very clear about that. I challenge you to search the word discipline on your Bible app and just read everything the Bible has to say about our Heavenly Father's discipline and what that looks like. So then the question is, why? Why is he doing that? And here's the answer. Our Father is willing to cause us short-term pain in order to give us eternal gain. So short-term pain for long-term gain. Listen to this verse. Everybody's heard this verse a million times, but they don't read the next one. And we do that in the Bible all the time. But listen to Romans 8, 28 and 29. It says, we know that all things work together for the good of those who love God and who are called according to his purpose. So in other words, God's literally using everything and orchestrating everything, our blunders and our successes. Everything that happens to us in this life, circumstantially and otherwise, is for our good, for the good of those who love him and are called according to his purposes. We know that, right? That's great. We love that promise. But he says this, for those he foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his son so that he would be the firstborn among many brothers and sisters. You guys, the purpose of his discipline and short-term pain is so that we would be more like Jesus. So are you allowing him to conform you to be more like Jesus? Are you getting disciplined regularly and not turning from your ways and you're taking the, the tough road? Or are you quick and humble to repent and to get back on track And are you understanding that everything is being orchestrated for your good? But what is that good? The good is so that we would be more like Jesus and that we would be prepared for eternity with God in heaven. He's preparing us. He's preparing a place for us and he's preparing us. And there's going to be a time that comes that this is all going to be worth it. So take the easy road. And when you mess up, be quick to get on your knees and cry out for forgiveness. And know that you're being conformed into the likeness of Jesus. How cool is that? 